protesters were once again out in the streets calling for financial equality and blaming the 1% wealthy Americans for the financial crisis. This time, the protesters came out at the University of California, Davis. Students were sprayed with pepper spray while they were holding a sit-in at the university campus. A similar protest in New York witnessed the arrest of hundreds of demonstrators on Thursday. The two-month-old uprising against inequality and lack of jobs has left hundreds of protesters injured and thousands more in jail. Everyone in the protest is a target for police to arrest. Police even arrested a fellow retired captain for participating in such events. Before he was arrested, the captain talked to press TV. Here's what he said. Nobody was in danger of being injured, and you only use force when there's a danger of somebody being killed or seriously hurt. If there's no danger there, you negotiate, you negotiate, and you negotiate. Time is the police officer's friend. And I know, from what I heard, that was not used today. Organizers are now considering their next move as the cold weather threatens the protesters' turnout. Protesters say that they are now considering occupying foreclosed homes as there are millions of them. Home foreclosures are among the many reasons that made thousands of Americans take to the streets in cities across the nation. They complain that millions of Americans have nowhere to go because they cannot afford their bills. They also complain of the lack of jobs and the constant laying off of millions of employees by Wall Street. Meanwhile, as one protester put it, you take one of us down, two more will show up, you can't stop an idea. This is the first time in decades America has witnessed such public protest and outrage at its capitalist system. The protests were triggered by none other than the Arab revolutions that began earlier this year. The demonstrations are gaining momentum and only time can tell how Washington will respond to the angry reaction to its policies.